Well, don't embarrass me now, eh? Well, you, it's up to you to embarrass yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I want to share a memory with you. Not one of my memories, but a memory of a man who was born right here in Point Claire in 1934. At a time when he wouldn't have even said he was born in Point Claire. He would say that he was born in Lakeside. My name is George Hugginson. I grew up in Point Claire, all on this street. Four different houses. Now, while researching for other projects, I kept seeing these advertisements for these cute little fairs that Point Claire used to have in various parts of the city. Now, the fairs being from the early 50s, it's getting harder to find people who went to the fairs or who even remember the fairs. But these advertisements look incredible. It looks like something you'd see in a movie. Now, by chance, I was interviewing George and George brought it up. And then just like that, something that seemed like it had never existed became very real. There was a lot of things going on. Down by the clubhouse I told you about, uh, every year they held a tombola. You know what a tombola is? Yeah. It's like a country fair type of thing. You used to have spinning wheels and bingo and all that kind of stuff. Fish pond for the kids and crown and anchor, throwing balls at things, you know. Maybe 10 booths. And we used to go down, like, they, they were in enclosures, eh? and they used to hang burlap, of course, to close it in. And we'd go down the next morning and go along the edge and pick up coins that people would drop, you know? Now, this memory is great, and it tells me something about what kids used to do in the summertime, you know, to have fun here in Lakeside. But it also tells me a little bit about the landscape and how different it was. You go down Cool Breeze, over the tracks, and it's just to the left of Cool Breeze. This piece of land where the fair was, it doesn't exist anymore. There's a highway. Did it stop because of the development that happened? Then? I guess, because uh, I mean, it was there when I was 16 maybe, but then it disappeared, you know? Did you ever go to the one in uh, Point Clear Village? Oh, we went to the mall. You never missed one, crash. That was something. Well, it was on for, I don't know, maybe a week. So you went, as I told you, we used to go and pick up the change along, along the, the edge of the thing. Just what would you do with the money? Oh, we'd go to Joe Vawa store in Vawa, buy an orange crush. <laughs> now, this wasn't a story with plot twists and character development and scuba divers jumping into lakes here in Vawa Bay, but it was a memory that needed to be captured, a memory that is endangered of a time that is long gone but should never be forgotten.